Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, and as you can tell from this opening, I'm still injured. Which means we're going to be looking at a more rev dominant slash two-handed review for some new equipment. But don't worry, Scoops and old guy Wayne will be back soon doing one-handed reviews going forward. So until then, why don't we go lane side and see how today's equipment stacks up. So here we are back in the shop and we've got the new Track Stealth Pearl. And uh, even though it's shiny and you can see that pearling in there, it's not quite as shiny as you think. This ball has uh, a little bit of surface on it and that beautiful, beautiful HK22. So we already know that uh, this ball is going to be, well, pretty strong. So to accentuate that, we went with a pretty standard PAL layout. We went with four inches pinned pap two inches pin above line, which means this ball is going to be pretty versatile, uh, though it is going to be very continuous, and that HK22 cover stock is going to give some pop down lane. Uh, I'm thinking that with the surface preparation plus this layout, this ball is going to give me uh, a little bit more control of the mid lane, especially when uh, I think my solids are going to be a little bit too early which happens a lot where I bowl. I don't get as much volume uh, as some places. So uh, I think this is going to allow me to get left a little bit, make sure it doesn't miss the mid lane, but definitely get it to wheel around the corner early, uh, especially when there's some oil out there. But there's only one way to find out. Why don't we take it lane side and see how the track Stealth Pearl stacks up. All right, we are back on the lanes here in Barrie on the easiest of easy house shots. And like I said, we are looking at the Stealth Pearl. Now, we saw the Stealth Solid last year, and uh, I think all of us liked it, even our speed dominant player who really shouldn't like a lot of symmetrical stuff. Um, just because that, uh, that cover stock, that QR style quick response cover stock, stock um it really gave us a ball that had a lot of motion down lane even though it was a solid um and you know what we saw it thrown a lot on tour now it's come back here with the hk 22 qr oh look at that pin dance come on hello stop dancing stop dancing there we go uh it's the qr pearl QR9 Pearl cover stock. Now, wow, that is some quick, yeah, that's some quick response. The last time I said we saw the QR9 uh, Pearl was on the Paradox Pearl. Now, it's been a, a few years, but with it being beefed up with the HK22 uh, base, we're seeing, uh, well, quite a bit of skid up front, and as we saw from the last shot, a lot off the back end. Now, no update to the core. The core is still the same. Uh, RG 248, 2482, and differential of 056. Uh, this is uh, this is a beefy little ball. It's also got a lot of, lot of uh, surface on it. For a pearl, it's uh, 500, 1,000, 1,500. Ooh, look at that. Come on. Yeah. Um, 500, 1,000, 1,500 CA air with Crown Factory Compound. So uh, instead of shining it up, they're using that QR9 HK22 cover stock to uh, blend out the middle of the pattern. So it's not super early. It's getting a little bit more energy before it gets down lane, um, as opposed to the solid. Like it's just got that little bit extra. And uh, with that quick response cover stock, we're really seeing it see the end of the pattern and uh, hook. That last strike, that strike that I threw there, that was eight boards left of where we started. And I was really trying to forward roll it. Now we're going to start to, uh, ooh, we're going to start to try to get around it a little bit more. Try to get it, uh, see if we can get some rotation uh, that shot you can see there, I didn't quite get it out of the oil. Uh, and when we uh, when we add rotation in oil, the ball will tend to skid a lot farther down. Obviously, you can see it uh, 
it just had nothing when it got to the pocket there. It had not really, uh, it had not rolled at all, so it just deflected. We got a, a pretty weak 10 there. So, but we're, let's, we'll, we'll give it another try here. Same place. We're really going to try to get around it. Now, uh, where I see this ball, actually for myself, um, yeah, you can see I really got around that one. Ugh. <laughs> got to get deeper if you're going to do that. Um, uh, I see this ball kind of between our ball up and a late hook. Uh, and I say that because we can get the late hook out of it by just changing the surface. Um, as it is right now, it's not quite as strong as something like we'd see in the new Infinity from Brunswick. Uh, but as a symmetrical, it's much faster than I think anything else we have, a, anything else that any of the Brunswick brands has out right now as a symmetrical. Because it's so fast response down lane. And it's, you know, it's kind of nice to see those. Um, we don't get a lot of symmetricals anymore just because without weight holes, they don't have the same usability as they did. Uh, we see a lot of symmetricals come out as uh, benchmark pieces, but not a lot in at least the high end that, that we're getting super performance out of. So you can see I moved another five boards. I'm in at 45. Woo! So uh, I was kind of impressed with this. Um, I liked the shape I got when I was rolling it forward. Very controllable. Uh, and I think that's actually what you'll see here is a little bit more of the forward roll. You can see that gets through the pins really nicely. Very easy. Easy read of the mid lane and then just very continuous through the back. Uh, now here I am with my benchmark. The good old Rattler Solid. Something that I know I can keep. You can see, really in line. It's not going to hook a ton. Something I can really control the pocket with. And every company has something uh, with similar core dynamics. Not necessarily cover stock, but core dynamics. Uh, here we are with the Stealth. And you can see right away, we're about five, seven boards different. Um, both the same distance down lane, but... a about seven, seven or eight boards left of where we were bowling with the Rattler. And just to give you an idea, we're going to put it face, well, I guess ball to ball here with uh, our forward roll versus our higher rotation. And you can see huge difference. That is a lot of versatility. I think this ball, I think it's more than just a late hook ball. I think this ball could be something that's a real... Um, you know, a workhorse in your bag. Surface is going to make this ball look like three or four, maybe five different balls. Look at the way it spins up. Beautiful motion through the pocket there. Uh, really impressed with this. This is definitely going to be going in my bag to complement uh, some of the new stuff that's come out here. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing what happens if I do put a little bit of shine on this and uh, seeing what kind of shapes I can create there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time guys, we'll see you lane side.